Hello everyone. I plan to do a style with pipe cleaners and ponytails and I still might do the I still might put in ponytails, but I decided instead of using pipe cleaners to braid my hair because braiding or just plaiting actually is not really braiding cuz my hair isn't going to be attached. But plaiting it is makes it easier to maneuver my hair and I can put it in many cute styles. I'm not going to um, plait it all up as I have done many many times in the past just because I don't have time to do it and I am planning and this is uh, a week that I am going to be washing my hair so I'll have to re put them in and then basically remove them in just a couple of days because I'm planning to wash my hair very soon. So I'm just going to plait my hair in the front and maybe the front and the top maybe and I'll just go from there and see what I come up with as far as the style. So I'm putting my hair in fairly large plaits and on the ends, I am going to be using these um, rubber bands, just standard black rubber bands here because I love my bangs and I think I do want to give myself some bangs in this whatever style I end up with. So. I'm thinking of something like, you know, wrapping it back like here and just seeing what happens. So I dyed my hair. Uh, let's see, when did I dye my hair? I guess this is the second week. So my hair is growing out. My dye job is growing out. And... I do not have any plans to spray it with my my favorite cover cover up Shh. at least not tonight because it is night time and although it does dry well I just don't want to spray that and then be wrapping it up to go to sleep so I'm just going to braid it up for tonight and style it for a style for tomorrow. So I'll see where it, where I go with this. And as you can see, there's really <laughs> not too much rhyme nor reason to my to my braiding pattern here. 
I'm just pretty much doing whatever. So I'm just going to put up a few in the front here. I like to do something like this usually. Give me a little bang. I'm just braiding these on the side, plaiting these on the side. I keep saying braiding, but I mean plaiting. Plaiting the ones on the side here because they are going to be used to secure the hair on the top. So, I was going to mention in this video a situation that I had. So, there's this young, 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 young lady in the store, like a little dollar store, dollar general or what have you. And she asked me how long I have been, you know, growing my locks, basically. How long have you been growing your locks? And that's a common question <laughs> for me. So I told her, you know, about how long has it been? About, ooh, I don't know, that's a long time, right? About, I'm thinking, ooh, <laughs> around 18 years, right? Yeah, this is 2018, yeah, okay. <laughs> around 18 years, yeah. And she said that she was thinking about getting locks. And I, I encourage her to get locks, you know, okay, you know, it's, they're nice. I love my locks, you know, they're, you know, I, I, you know, I, I like having locks. It's been a good experience for me. And she says to me, yes, because I don't want to do my hair. And I'm like, definitely side eye, like, you still have to do your, and I told her, I said, you still have to do your hair with locks. Like, locks, I don't know why people think that if you get locks, you don't do your hair. And the thing that's so strange is that I had my hair in all of these curls. I had pipe cleaner curls in my hair. So my hair was like, curl. my hair was curly. So obviously, I did my hair. <laughs> I did something to it. I didn't just wake up with all of these millions of curls in my hair. So I just thought it was, I wanted to say more, but you know, I held my tongue. I wanted to say, do you think I just woke up with all these curls in my hair? You have to, you have to do something to your hair. Even if you don't put curls in your hair, you don't, 
You know, even if you just wear your hair in a ponytail all the time, which I did used to do. I used to just wear my hair in a ponytail all the time. Even if you do that, but some people probably say, oh, wait, she got all that long hair and she doesn't even style it. Which, you know, I used to, I just went through a phase when I had a lot going on in my life and I just wore my hair in ponytails. Even if you do that, you're still going to have to, um, oh, look how that's sticking up. I'm going to have to fix that. You're still going to have to take care of it. You have to retwist it. That's a lot of work. <laughs> You're going to have to retwist your hair. You're going to have to, of course, wash it, you know, often. You're going to have to, I mean, all the scab. You have to take care of it. You have to do something to it. You can't look, and look at this. See, this is, I didn't even know my hair. It, yes, you can definitely come out your locks. I'm not trying to come out my locks. I don't know how this loose, I don't know how I ended up with this loose one. Oh, probably because, like I said, I am washing my hair this week, so I guess this just came out one of the sections of my hair. So, and look, but it see, it's really short, though. Of course, my hair is really long, but that's just like a little loose piece. But anyway, you have to do a, you have to do quite a bit to take care of your locks. You really do. So it's not a situation where you just, this isn't, now some people do freeform lock their hair, of course, but they still, you still gotta wash it. You gotta wash it. Even if you do not retwist it, you have to wash it. And you might wanna oil your, your scalp so it won't be all dry and, I hate to say it, but crusty. So you're going to have to do something to your locks. It's not, a, is there, there, I don't think there is, there are very, I don't, well, if you even, hey, even if you cut your hair and you get, uh, you know, you do the great chop, which I had, I got the, I did, I chopped my hair off before, I chopped my hair off and then I went natural. I did the big chop. I couldn't even remember what it was called, <laughs> what it's called. But I did the big chop and then I went natural and I let my hair grow out for a while and then I got my locks. So even with the small teeny weeny afro, you you know, there are some things you're going to have to, you have to wash it, you have to condition it, comb it out, you know, even even if you just finger comb it. You have to do something to take care of your hair. I mean, in our society, <laughs> you have to do something. I don't like that misconception that people with locks do not do anything to take care of their hair. They just let it just grow like wild. You know, even if it is, like I said, free farmers, they wash their hair. I saw some show, I think it was L.A. Hair. You know, I love reality TV shows. So I was watching L.A. Hair a long time ago, and this woman came in. She didn't have locks. She had just a natural, and she was saying that she hadn't washed her hair in several months. I can't remember the whole story, so... I can't remember the whole story. But the basic part is that she hadn't what done her hair in the several months. Maybe she had braids, okay? Maybe she had braids in her hair or something like that. I can't remember. Maybe she had a weave in her hair for a long time. I can't really, I can't remember what she had in her hair. But she had something styling her hair and she had it for several months. And the stylists on L.A. Hair, I'm talking about the reality TV show, and they are in, obviously, in Los Angeles, and they're working in the salon together. Anyway, the, so the stylist that she went to, he said on the show, he said, you know, that bugs can lay eggs. He said, girl, don't you know that bugs can lay eggs in your hair? And I was totally grossed out by that, as I'm sure anybody would be. You know, I was grossed out. I was just like, oh my goodness, ooh. You know, so keep that in mind. 
if you have long-term hairstyles, you know, like any kind of braids, any kind of with the single braids or anything like that, keep that in mind that, I mean, maybe I'm paranoid, but just the idea of a bug, a bug's laying eggs in my hair and I didn't wash my hair, I'm not washing my hair anytime soon, that kind of freaks me out. I kind of like this style. What did I do? I just plaited it and you saw me. I just, I'm just putting it up, going as I, as I can. Now there is a space here, but I think I'm going to leave it. It's, you know, it's just a space created from the braids, but I'm going to, I'm going to leave it there and I'll leave the back out. Not well, I could pin it down. I could pin this down if I don't like that space. You see the space in between it? It's not a big deal. I see a little hair. This is kind of getting on my nerves. <laughs> this is getting on my nerves. This little piece. Let me get, I have my pins right handy. And I think for this situation, I probably need a smaller pin. So I use a small one just to pin this this down this is a low this is a loose end from when I plait my hair and I didn't plait it I didn't plait my hair all the way down in some areas because my hair is so uneven so that's why I'm left with this this situation okay <laughs> there you have it kind of a See, this is kind of like a, it's like a little updo here. And I can even pin this up if I want to, which I do. See, I love plaques. They are so versatile. <laughs> and if you saw my video on when I was going to a festival out of town, I had my hair, I was trying to do my hair in, I was trying to do my hair in, what are they called? Barrel twists? I don't think that's, I don't think that's the right, barrel rolls, that's what they're called. Barrel rolls, I was, and I, and it, I thought I did it, I thought I had the barrel rolls together. And I had my hair going up and around in the barrel rolls and pinned up and I made the video on it and everything like, oh, this is a great style for a festival. And I went, I wrapped my hair and when I went to take my shower, I don't know, I think I, I was put the shower cap on, but long story short, my hair was just, it just fell. And I was late from the time that I wanted to go. So it was really bad. And then there was like a long line because I rented a car. There was a long line at the car rental place. And I was going to be really late because I was meeting some people there. <laughs> so I had this plan for my hair to be done because I did my hair the night before. You'll see it's, it's all in this whole story. It's in the video. So anyway, I ended up braiding my hair, plaiting my hair. And just doing an updo, and and I was so happy with it. I was like, I was scared at first. Like, oh no, what am I gonna do with my hair? It's like everywhere. It was looking like someone who doesn't do their hair. <laughs> so it was just everywhere. So when I plaited it and put it up, because I wanted it to look neat and I wanted it to be up and out of the way, because there's gonna be a lot of walking and everything and you know I just wanted it to look very neat and nice so I was so disappointed when it fell and when I plaited it and put it up I was so happy so this can be this is definitely plaits are a go-to style just plait your hair and you can just twist it up I like to I like bangs because I kind of feel like my forehead is a little big, but not really that. I just like the way bangs look. 
I think I'm going through a phase though, you know. <laughs> I'm going through I'm going through a bang phase and then a few months later I'll just want to have baby hair and not have any bangs. So it's it's just that's just me. But there you have it. Now I don't know what the back looks like, so I'm not gonna show the back and I'm going to go to sleep anyway. <laughs> So I'm not so don't let's not worry about the back right now. Let's just concentrate on the front. But however, normally with plaits, because I can feel, see I see this is hanging. And I I will use my mirror and I will tuck it up into the plaits. So you can't see any of the loose edges. Any of the loose ends, I mean, of my hair. And I also see this pen is sticking out. I'm going to take it out. Yeah. Okay, so I would do a little bit more playing around with it if I were going going to a festival, going to a concert, going to meet my friends, going to hang out. I'll do Of course, I'll play with it just a little bit more, but this is a totally decent style to go out if you're in a pinch and you have just shoulder length locks, you know? Maybe even here, you know, you can plaid it and you can probably put in a really, really cute style because you can put in all kinds of twists and maneuver it better, I think, than me with long hair and it will get, it gets really heavy. So, which is one of the reasons why I only put the front up, but I can plait the back and just have the back hanging down in plaits too. That's cute. So, what do you think about plaits? Have you tried, do you plait your hair? Do you plait your hair up at night? Like every night you plait it out? Do you do braid outs? You know, my hair is bone dry, so this will not be a braid out at all. I will not have any crinkles in my hair at all. But I like braid it up. I do like braid outs, but they don't really last very long, so I don't really do them in my hair so much. Do you like braid outs? Do you plait your hair? Do you plait your locks up at night? You know, what's your favorite style? Comment below. Let me know what you like. What do you think about this style? Like, would you go out with your hair? Okay, this is sticking up a little bit. I did take the pin out, so that's why. Because the pin was showing. It's not that bad, though. It's like a, you know, consider it like an updo. All right. Okay, everyone. So, I will say... I'm not going to say goodbye, I'm going to say farewell because I have another video that I'm about to film right now for you. So you'll see that one up. It'll probably be up day after this video or within the week of this video, okay? That you'll see the next video that I'm filming. So I'm going to, I'm going to film it right now. So for now, farewell. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to write those comments, give it a thumbs up, click on that bell so you'll know when, you're, when I post a new video, you'll be notified. Goodbye everyone and please don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.